Is Kimmy 2 a ChatGPT killer? It does all the same stuff pretty much and it's free to use on the web and it's beating ChatGPT and Claude on some of the benchmarks. This new Chinese chatbot could be another DeepSeek moment. Now it's not ruptured stock markets in the way that DeepSeek did, but it's definitely making companies like OpenAI nervous just as they're about to release ChatGPT 5 and they've also just indefinitely delayed their open source model. So why is it so impressive? It's outperforming ChatGPT and Claude Opus on some of the tasks like logic and coding, Strangely, it's also excelling at creative writing. It reminds me of Claude at its best or ChatGPT 4.5. It's also built to work as an agent, not just a chatbot. So it can use tools, it can interact with apps, interfaces and stuff like that. It's not quite ready for some of that yet, but it's got the capability baked into it and it's already an absolutely amazing chatbot. So Kimi2 is a trillion parameter model, meaning it has one of the largest total parameter counts ever seen. It was pre-trained on 15 and a half trillion tokens, which is well over 10 trillion words of text. They're just numbers that I can't even get my head around. That was then distilled into training data comprising a trillion parameters. So it's big, but the key is in its efficiency, which we know is an area that Chinese models have had to innovate in because they don't have access to the latest American hardware from Nvidia. So they need to do more with less. And like DeepSeek, it uses this mixture of experts architecture. In simple terms, that means that even though the model contains over a trillion parameters in total, it doesn't use all of those at once every time you ask it something. For each input, it activates only a small subset of expert submodels, around eight out of 384 at a time, depending on the task. So this just makes it much more efficient, much faster and cheaper to run, and still delivers high quality results that's up there with the best models. Also, this graph here, you don't need to fully understand it, but basically there would be normally a lot more spikes here of instability and errors whilst training a model. But what they've fine-tuned is the process of training so that it remains stable and accurate as it learns, which just means better, more reliable outputs, i.e. a smarter model. You can check it out and use it for free at Kimi.com.